Hello students, we would be discussing the short story, The Accompanist by the author Anita Desai. Let us give an introduction to the author Anita Desai. Anita Desai was born on June 24th, 1937 to German mother and Indian father. She won the Sahitya Academy Award, which is the highest literary award in India in the year 1978. In 2014, she got the Padma Bhushan Award. Some of her most important works are Cry the Peacock, published in the year 1963, Clear Light of Day, published in the year 1980, Fire on the Mountain, 1977, to name a few. She was shortlisted for the prestigious Booker Prize around three times. Most predominantly, he she deals with the psychology of soul of the characters. She delves deep into the heart of her characters to expose their inner self, inner conflicts, and then dig out the concealed questions that spring at the core of their heart. We'll see something similar in this story as well. Let's take a close look at the short story, The Accompanist. This story was taken from the collection Games at Twilight, published in the year 1978. The story is woven about a true human relationship between an Ustad. Uh, the name of the Ustad is Ustad Rahim Khan. He's a classical performer, a musical maestro, and Bhaiya, or the accompanist, who is a Tanpura musician. He plays the Tanpura. Uh, he accompanies the guru, Ustad Rahim Khan, and uh, you know we can see the quality of love and devotion which he shows towards his guru, no matter any condition. Now his father, that is the accompanist's father, had been a hard taskmaster who would religiously wake him up in the early morning, hours of the morning, and then he, uh, you know, sort of trained the child in music. He wanted his son, the accompanist, to become a musician and not an instrument maker, as was their family business, family profession. Now, with this view, he gave him lessons in playing the you know, musical instruments, the wide variety of musical instruments, the tanpura, hanponium, sitar, and the tabla. He also taught him all the ragas and raginis by testing his knowledge with persistent questioning. So the love for music and Ustad Rahim Khan changed the life of this accompanist and he gave up all his childhood pleasures and pranks and since the age of 15 and in the story we see that he's reached the age of 30 he gave his life towards uh, he's gave his surrendered his life uh, for the love for music and his guru further we see that ajit and bhula bhaiya's friends from the youth often provoke him. We have a scene in the story, which is one of the highlights of the story. Their business is to, you know, wrong, misdirect, and then dissuade Bhaiya, the accompanist, and then provoke him to come out of the shadows of his master and then create his own identity by being a solo performer himself. The unnamed accompanist can be traced as the lack of identity of this musician. Throughout the story, we see that the accompanist is either referred to as bhaiya or accompanist. So we see that there's no name to this character. This might, you know, harp on this aspect of the lack of identity. He's an anonymous character or he does not have, he is not in the forefront of the stage. This can give that sort of an aspect. 
this led him to introspect and you know this certain internal conflict which is going on in this character and he self doubts himself so the readers can also you know identify this aspect their act of provoking him against his ustad ultimately failed towards the end of the story and then a strong sense of commitment is seen to have cultivated towards the ustad the musical master the story delineates the emotional state of a tanpura artist who is a true accompanist desai has beautifully presented the internal conflicts of the accompanist and you know also that his you know he's is achieving a victory over those conflicts which is going inside his mind his soul in fact she believes that in dealing with the mind and the soul of a character his inner workings and the hidden silent thoughts rather than his outer appearances so this is what is making utmost sense in the short story some of the major characters in this story are the accompanist who is referred to as bhaiya who is the disciple of the mastro musical mastro ustad rahim khan the guru or the teacher we have mishra ji who is the father of the accompanist and is the maker of the musical instruments and then we have the character of ramnath uh, ramnath is another musician who plays tabla on the stage with ustad ji ustad rahim khan and we can sense a sort of rivalry with uh, the accompanist we also have the friends of the accompanist named ajit and bhola who is from the locality during his youth days let's take a look at the essential themes of the short story the relationship between the disciple uh, that is the accompanist who is also referred to as bhaiya and the guru is uh, is one of the major key aspects in the story we see a, a sense of gratitude and a devotion in this relationship and then the disciple goes beyond his you know his own individual aspirations and then at the expense of his own individual aspirations he stays he sticks to this relationship without the wish of gaining anything in return so that is the one of the you know, purest form of gratitude which can be seen in the relationship of a disciple and a guru which is uh, can be traced in this story we also see the theme of internal conflict as mentioned in the first half of this lecture this i delves deep into the characters the human psyche of characters and try to bring forward these intricacies to the forefront lastly we see the significance of commitment to any art form we see that uh, you know the friends actually provoke him to uh, you know leave the tanpura go back to another musical form and then you know, urges him their him to be the main solo performer but then he sticks to his own passion which is tanpura and he wants to stay with the guru playing for him just staying behind him without gaining anything so he shows this commitment towards an art form and then this theme can also be amalgamated with the theme of gratitude and devotion with towards the guru this is the picture of anita desai and i wanted to give you a face to the name of the author happy studying